It's meant to curb vote rigging. Over the weekend, the new system was trialed in a number of polling stations across Nigeria. Using what looks like a tablet, electoral officials identify voters through fingerprints and facial recognition. Voters in the main city, Lagos, said the system was running smoothly. I had to go and pick my card, and when I came out, I did not spend a single minute, you know, before I was accredited. And that is a very good, you know, score, uh, score mark, you know, on the part of INEC. The Electoral Commission, known as INEC, will receive the results directly from each device. Barring technical glitches, the public should be able to view these results on the portal in real time. Once, once the BBAS has been configured at our head office, it will work anywhere. The only one that we have to challenge with is when we are doing the transferring of the, of the result at the end of the day. And it's just like a mobile phone. If you cannot transfer at that section, when we move it away from that particular unit, you can get network and it will work. Nigeria has a long history of allegations of electoral fraud. A precondition. In 2019, opposition candidate Atiku Abubakar, who came in second, rejected the results, denouncing what he dubbed a sham election. His party accused President Muhammadu Buhari and his All Progressives Congress, the APC, of trying to alter the course of history and disenfranchise the Nigerian people by canceling and manipulating figures. The head of the European Union's observer mission flagged up serious operational shortcomings, which it said put undue burden on voters. Among these, issues with electronic voting machines, which made it difficult for many to cast their vote.